Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, my pick at Wimbledon. Rafael Nadal at 4-1 to one and higher odds has crashed and burned. Right, he got beaten by a 19-year-old ranked higher than 100th in the world. Now understand, the bet was structured so you would have matchups like this. Right, as I said in that video, I thought Nadal had a relatively easy road until the semifinals. Right, against lower-ranked players. Well, as it turned out, Nadal self-emulated or got beaten however you want to see it by a 19 year old Australian not ranked in the 100 you know what many of these bets are gonna blow up in your face in gambling you're gonna lose time and time again this bet blew up in my face I lost this bet my response to it and I'm just going to tell you my betting strategy. I'm not making a recommendation. You follow your heart on this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more money now on Djokovic to win and on Andy Murray to win. In my opinion, those are the likely guys to come out of the other bracket. Right? I know Roger Federer used to dominate Wimbledon. I know getting the doll out of Federer's black bracket greatly increases his chance of winning. But I'm making a hard calculation here that if Federer makes it to the finals against the winner of Djokovic Murray, right, that bracket, and I suspect those two guys will be in the semi then I believe I'll get better than even money odds on Roger Federer. Right? So I'm not in a rush to take Federer here. I am in a rush to take Djokovic and Murray. Keep in mind, Murray won Wimbledon last year. Right? Because those are the guys with the shorter odds. And if I'm going to get the leverage that time gives me, right? A longer time horizon, then I have to take those guys here. So, my top play, Rafael Nadal, has crashed and burned. Right? This is a, a huge upset, him losing here. Fine. What I'm doing now is I'm getting up off the canvas, and I have been decked. 4 10 count. I'm licking my wounds. I'm planning my next battle. And that battle involves putting money on a futures prop on Djokovic and Murray. Understand. As I said, the odds are short. Djokovic, you're getting a plus 165. On Murray, you're getting something like a plus 300. Right? Those odds, I suspect, are going to shorten with every match. That's the direction I'm going in now that my plan A has crashed and burned. Right? In sum, my plan B, excuse me, my plan A has lost. Now I'm on to plan B and plan C, so it goes. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by, and congratulations to the Australian. I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name. I believe it's Nick Kergios, Ker right? Congratulations to Australian Nick for a stunning and, to me, completely unexpected upset of Rafael Nadal. Thanks for stopping by.